I recently partnered with the Sonoran Desert Institute, and in this video, we're gonna talk about what SDI is and how you can get involved. Yabagoo here from ultimatereloader.com. I'm here with Rick Kasner from SDI. Thank you for joining us, Rick. Mm -hmm. So right from the get-go, if you wanna know about SDI, go to sdi.edu or call 480-999-4767. So thank you for coming. This is gonna be great to give you all just sort of a broad overview of what SDI is. So we're gonna talk about an overview. We're gonna talk about the different degrees and certifications that are available. Do a brief overview of the individual courses and then give you some pointers on how to get started. So Rick, I know you've been an entrepreneur, you've been an instructor at SDI. What is it that you're focused on now? Um, yeah, so recently, so when I first came on to SDI, uh, I was teaching courses. So mm -hmm. I started as an adjunct faculty, moved up to full-time faculty, gotcha. and then just kind of stayed in that faculty world for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. but, um, but then I moved into the curriculum department. So now I'm designing curriculum. I'm, my technical title is uh, program chair, School, gotcha. of, School of Firearms Technology. That's got to be and, a fun job. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, I do a lot of instruction, obviously, here on the channel, and I just love learning new things, and then bringing that to people, that's a really great thing to, to do. So, let's talk about SDI fundamentally. What's kind of the mission and vision? Uh, the mission is to give students an understanding in um, the theory, the practical application, but we also want to, the industry-driven understanding uh, behind firearms technology. Mm -hmm. But we want to deliver that to them at home. Mm -hmm. We know people have busy lives. And we also know that that allows them to more easily transition from, maybe they're transitioning from a career, mm -hmm. um, an already set career, and they're transitioning into firearms technology or the firearms industry, or maybe it's a retirement thing. Mm -hmm. But we want to give that smooth transition um, for them in life so that they can stay where they're at, they have their friendships, they have their relationships, yep. stay where you're at, and then just transition over into the firearms industry. So after talking about our mission, it's important to touch on our, our vision. What do we want for our students to go mm -hmm. moving forward? We wanna give them the practical job experience that will make them or allow them to be outstanding employees mm -hmm. and outstanding leaders based on sound judgment. So can they, can they lead the, in the industry using sound judgment and the technical competency that an education in firearms technology would give them. Yeah, it sounds like that leads to a more well-rounded individual ready for employment. I like the idea of the personal skills, you know, the integrity piece of it, leadership, judgment, and the technical skills. W with all of that, you're definitely differentiated, you know, over your average job applicant. Definitely. Okay. So next, let's dig into the programs. So the firearms technology uh, at Sonoran Desert Institute is broken down into both a, an associate's program as well as a certificate program. The associate's mm -hmm. program will cover both gen eds mm -hmm. um, and it'll also give you your firearms technology core classes and electives in there. Mm -hmm. In your certificate program, it's more of a focused, harder hitting pathway to mm -hmm. get into the industry. You'll miss out on a few of the courses that the firearms related courses that you would otherwise get in the associates program. But the certificate might be a way for somebody who is retired or has another degree. They're mm -hmm. just looking for that second second hobby job or something like that. Mm -hmm. they, it's just a way for them to get understanding so they can start. Or uh, what if they want to go into a specialized job? Like if you had a, an AR manufacturer and you want to focus on that side of the technology, maybe get that certificate and then have that be a little bit more, like you said, focused and a little bit less broad. Yeah, yeah, I mean, so say somebody came in with, a, they already had that business degree, mm -hmm. so the, and they've already have management experience, but mm -hmm. they wanna transition from another industry into the firearms industry. Yep. So they're already bringing their technical skills as far as management, mm -hmm. and now they're bringing it, they're bringing in that, um, that higher education in the in the firearms industry, and they're able to transition to, to another company, gotcha. and, and bridge that industry gap. Gotcha. So. so, in terms of current offerings, yeah. So we offer our associate program, which is a sixty credit, and then our certificate in firearms technology, 
and that's a 32 credit currently. Gotcha. Currently, yep. that might, <laughs> and you know, that might change, or we might offer different electives. But it's also worth noting that we also offer a certificate in unmanned technology. Currently, that's only 16 credit hours, hmm. but that's probably going to increase as well. Yeah. But so unman unmanned technology is drones, drone piloting. But mm -hmm. that's also that could be aerial drone. That could be, um, you know, ground drones, underwater drones. So interesting. Yeah. Yeah. No, my camera guy is kind of interested in the un the unmanned. Uh, technology because obviously we use drones here yeah <laughs> it yeah. definitely applies so let's talk about how it works if someone is interested in the program what are the steps that they're going to go through to to get started yeah so you would contact admissions mm -hmm. an admissions team you can go on to sdi.edu um, and there's a chat feature there or you could just call up at the admissions team mm -hmm. the phone number for the admissions is 40 or 480-999-4767, mm -hmm. but you just call them up and they kind of just walk you through, they would walk you through financial planning, your different options for finances, mm -hmm. TA, VA lending, um, regular student loans or cash payment, um, things gotcha. like that. Um, I, I imagine they'd probably be able to talk through the courses as well and help direct which direction you want to go, mm -hmm. certificate versus degree and so on and so forth. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and, and then you would just enroll in the program and then mm -hmm. and then you would just start your courses and then start learning with your with your fellow students. We promote through discussion boards and through our assignments, we really promote well more more of the discussion boards is that student to student interaction. Networking in especially in the firearms industry is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Getting that that uh, I mean you're not you're not gonna come out of school knowing everything. Sure. And yeah. so having that that network where you can rely on a fellow student or some sort of mentor or somebody and when you're stumped on something you can reach out to them so we we really want to build that that community well i know based on my professional network that that's invaluable mm -hmm. right uh, for precision rifle gunsmithing my go-to guy is gordy gritters we're partnered he's t taught me a ton and yeah when i have a question you know, I call him up. When I have a cool thing I just did, I want to share it with him. Yeah. That, that whole community aspect is just so important. And I found so much enthusiasm for folks within the 2A community and within the firearms community, just that passion to help each other and the passion to learn. It's what it's all oh, about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, very important. And so yeah. let's walk through, what does this look like? Let's say I enrolled and then, you know, I'm ready to get started on my courseware. Let's talk about what is it like to take those courses how do tests work? What do I do about my tools? How about all that? Uh, so tools are so tools are included in tuition. Tools and equipment that you'll need for the courses. Okay. So obviously there's lathes, there's mills, <laughs> and stuff like that that won't won't be included. You'll sure. have to purchase that on your own at some other point. Yep. Um, but the things, the tools and equipment that you need to get through the courses mm -hmm. uh, that will give you the experiences you need. Uh, those are all included. So gotcha. It's going to be kind of a bare bones, but you know you'll you'll be putting together kits like 1911, AR-15s, mm -hmm. AR-10s, whatever, mm -hmm. um, and so all that will be shipped out to you. Gotcha. Shipped out to an FFL, and then you know as far as receivers. Yep. But yeah, so that's that's how that works. So I'm working through the courseware. I've got some of the kits and the tools that are provided by SDI. How about interacting with uh, the faculty? Mm -hmm. How does that work? Yeah, so in our online classes, we have discussion boards, so that's more of like a forum. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll be inter interacting with both your fellow students and your, um, your instructor. Mm -hmm. In your assignments, you'll, you'll submit weekly assignments, sometimes two, um, and that'll be just, it won't really necessarily be an interaction like a forum, but you'll submit the work and then the, the uh, faculty will um, right back to you, give you some feedback on that. Gotcha. Then you'll have weekly quizzes that, you know, range in, you know, amount of questions that are asked, mm -hmm. but it's pertinent to the actual subject matter. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, just that, and, and the quizzes are not graded, they're just automatically graded mm -hmm. um, by the system. Gotcha. So. And so, for the degree, you're on approximately a 24 month yeah. timeline, about two years? Yeah, and people can, they can, uh, I mean, obviously take some time off. We work very well with with veterans or, or military personnel. Very good. 
sometimes they have to go on leave. They have to go, they have to go out overseas for, you know, X amount of time. Mm -hmm. And so, um, we work with that. We yep. work with them on that time. Very cool. So you've got 60 credit hours with the degree program. You've got 32 with the certificate. So obviously the certificate is going to be a lot quicker, mm -hmm. a little over half the time or however it is that you're paced, but you can, you can learn at your own pace. Yep. Very good. Okay. So why don't we dig into the courses and kind of give an overview of that. We've got the technical courses, we've got the electives and gen ed. Why don't we walk through those kind of section by section? Sounds good. So getting into the, the actual courses at SDI, um, we offer ballistics courses. I'm not going to show them on a screen because we're revamping the courses, but basically we cover the internal, the external and the terminal ballistics. Awesome. Okay. Everything in between. Yep. Um, going into our core classes, which would be start with FTT 210, customizing and woodworking. We actually give a, a muzzle loader kit to the students where they can work on inletting, things like that. Awesome. Um, working with wood is very, very important. Mm -hmm. FTT 201, any sort of finish that you think could be applied to a <laughs> firearm, like rust bluing, seracoding, anything like that, any, gra any engraving that you can do, we'll cover that, that sort of material in that course. Mm -hmm. FTT 111, firearms inspection and troubleshooting, that's theory-based, very mm -hmm. heavily theory-based, getting in the cycle of operations of the firearm and how to understand how to understand those cycle of operations of different operating platforms or operating systems so that you can better diagnose issues. That you that, come that's just such a fundamental thing. You know, a customer brings in a firearm and it's not working, you know, to have that understanding of how things work and apply that to the troubleshooting process, you know, that's going to just, I think, pay, pay a lot of dividends and be just a rock-solid fundamental. Yep. Yep, and then FTT 104, we have our gunsmithing tools lab, and that's where we go over, um, you know, just the basic hand tools, your punches, your hammers, mm -hmm. your screwdrivers, just very basic gunsmithing tools that they'll use a whole lot. Yeah, and some of these are specialized. Like I remember early on when I was starting to build ARs, you've got your roll pin holders and your roll pin punches. One is has a hole in it, the other has a little you know, dot on the end to mm -hmm. center it and the other holds, holds it to start it. And just those, those little things that make such a difference when you can't mark the firearm, you can't scratch the firearm and you need to get your work done efficiently. Having the right tools is just so, so fundamental and to know how to use them. Yeah, having the right <laughs> tools and knowing how to use finesse. Yes, <laughs> yes. It's very, very important. Strategy yeah. over brute force. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then going into our FTT 214 hand checkering course. So this hand checkering, a lot of people will go in, well, it's just scratching lines in the <laughs> stock, you know, it's not a big deal. It's, and then they do it and yeah. it's really hard. So, so. I, I kind of want to learn this because one of my recent obsessions is Weatherby rifles. Uh -huh. And I want to do a Weatherby tribute rifle that is a complete custom build and it has a lot of those elements, but it's different. And I'm thinking, well, how am I going to do the checkering? I'm actually thinking about laser engraving the checkering, you know, onto the wood, but if I could actually use real tools and do real hand checkering, I think that would be so, so cool. Or you just <laughs> laser engrave it very thin. Yep. And then check her over the top. Oh, of it. it's kind of like guidelines, you right? You cheat, you cheat. <laughs> okay. You can cheat the system. Anyway, go on. Okay, so more core courses here. Yep, so FTT 100, that's our introduction to firearms. Mm -hmm. Again, this is another course where we're kind of revamping a little bit, but yeah, this gets into, this is where we go into more of the the operating system. So, mm -hmm. you know, gas operated, blowback, recoil operated, mm -hmm. manual operated, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. firearms. So, this is where you kind of get that grounding. Yep. And these not are not in kind of chronological order here. These are directly from the website kind of per category. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you'll, yeah. It, it might shift around how, sure. you, how you actually take Yeah, them. so check the current so. SDI course offerings just to see the, the latest list and the latest offerings. Yep. And I like this Kydex. Yeah, that's one that. of our that, uh, students love that. So basically, in the course, you'll you'll make a uh, press to press a, a holster. Mm -hmm. You'll learn holster making <laughs> fundamentals, working with Kydex, things like that. Mm -hmm. So really, that will give you the understanding if there's anything you want to make with Kydex, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's could be round holders on the side of your PRS rifle, or who knows what, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Very very cool stuff. And then FTT 231, 
machining and manufacturing firearms. That's really, we don't get into the nitty gritty mm -hmm. of machining. More to come on that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to, you know, give too much, but um, this is the kind of the foundation tool holders, mm -hmm. uh, the steel characteristics, mm -hmm. feeds and speeds, you know, you, you get into the, the fundamentals of machining um, and understanding the theory behind it. Yes, very important. So, stuff. yeah, uh, understanding what material you can work with and why you're mm -hmm. working with it. Mm -hmm. um, very cool. Then our FTT 240 course, uh, shooting sports management, that's where we get into like actually the business side of, of the firearms world. So owning and operating a firearms uh, business, you know, mm -hmm. business plans, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, FTT 221, sights, optics, and accuracy, that kind of describes it all right there, but it's, it's uh, you know, bedding, optics, uh, you know, um, lapping, lapping uh, rings, things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then FTT 211 actually goes along with our FTT 210 course, and that's where the students will actually r finish the, the stock, their muzzleloader kit, and then uh, rust brown mm -hmm. their, uh, their barrel. So they get the kind of that traditional understanding mm -hmm. of, of rust browning. So Gotcha. So that's the core courses. Yep. So how about electives? Um, yeah, so we offer a, a wide range of, or a wide array of uh, electives. Mm -hmm. What we'll put up here is subject, subject to change, and we're also going to be offering a whole lot more. But basically, everything on this screen we're covering, everything I'm going to talk about we're mm -hmm. going to be covering, plus more in the future. But currently, we have our AR-15, AR-9, and LR, AR slash AR-10 Mm -hmm. uh, platform courses. AR9, so. would, would that be the PCC mm -hmm. stuff? Okay, yep. gotcha. so blowback operated AR platform. Yeah. We we handle those a lot here, and okay. they, they are a, a bit of a different animal. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, as far as tuning mm -hmm. and doing all that. Yep. yep, absolutely. Yeah, so we'll go into that um, in both our, so our FTE 209, FTE 210, and FTE uh, 215 course uh, with our uh, FTE 217 course, which will be kind of revamping those other three mm -hmm. courses I just mentioned previously. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so we go into the, the FTE 217 is called the Modern Sporting Rifle mm -hmm. course because that's the three that we're going to be talking about in that course. That Very elective. cool. So you kind of get an understanding of all the platforms, even though you only choose one to build. Okay. Now, in terms of degree versus certificate, if you're doing the certificate, do you have elective courses within that program? Uh, yes. Okay. So you'd still have that elective in there. You'd just be missing out on a few of them, a few of the other core courses. Gotcha. Okay. So should we talk about Gen Ed? Sure. Yeah. So with regard to the Gen Ed stuff, you know, some of this might not seem like the stuff that you really want to take, right? Because you want to build guns, but I think this stuff is awesome. And it's a really great way to differentiate yourself from other folks that have just gotten industry experience. You know, it's all about breadth of knowledge and a, an awareness of some of these things, you know, being articulate, understanding your customer, a lot of these things that you're not gonna get necessarily unless you're in a program and it's a part of it. And, you know, sometimes being made to do something is, is definitely a really good thing in the end. Yeah, I'm sure you've, <laughs> you've taken some marketing courses or done something with marketing. But yep. in the marketing world, you have your red ocean and your blue ocean of what, mm -hmm. of what I've heard it referred to. Your red ocean is like everybody's in there. Mm -hmm. It's a bloodbath. It's really hard to make a difference in that industry. Mm -hmm. But in the, um, the blue ocean, you're kind of differenti differentiating yourself. You're, you're, you're creating a niche for yourself. And yeah. I, I see that going the degree program, if you're wanting to get into the actual industry, Mm -hmm. um, is a better way because you, like you said, you're, you're, you're coming in with a degree. You're not coming in. There's, there's a lot of people that just come in with a whole bunch of real world experience, but sure. they don't have the theory to back it up. Does that make sense? Yeah. They, they have the practical application they've been working with for a long time, mm -hmm. but they don't have the theory understanding. And it. I'll, I'll add to this. If I was coming at this fresh, you know, college age, if you want to call it that, 
and I wanted to start my own gunsmithing business and be an entrepreneur, I see a lot of really practical skills here. And Rick and I have a separate video we're working on on basically the A to Z of starting your own gunsmithing operations. So you're going to want to check out that video. Why don't we walk through these courses? Okay, so American government, that's just going through your, through the po political system, things like that, maybe a little, touch on a little bit of the history. Mm -hmm. um, business mathematics, so that's, a lot of our students won't want to take math. They <laughs> right. won't want to do it. Yeah. But it's very, very important. Math yeah. is, a gunsmith works with math every single day. Mm -hmm. Now, depending on what math you want to get into, mm -hmm. uh, or what gunsmithing you want to get into, I should say. Mm -hmm. I mean, you want to, you'll pr you might want to work all the way up to trig or calculus at that point. Trig, very, very important as a machinist, mm -hmm. right? Because you're cutting at different angles. Yep. You got to know the translation of the tool at an angle on the lathe. What's that going to take off the diameter, right? It's, it's definitely very practical. Now, yeah. I will say this from a student perspective, mm -hmm. you know, me, I didn't like math. <laughs> but when you, when you learn it as a, as a technical skill, like if you learn it in your language, I should say. Yeah, and a very much applied skill, right? An applied skill, then it makes sense. Yes. Versus theory, a lot when we're going, when I was going through grade school or high school, it was all theory. Right. I was like, when am I ever going to apply this? But when you put it on a machine, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you apply it, then it makes sense, and you enjoy it. You want to learn it. Yep. So it's different. So yep. so take the math, <laughs> do, love the math, because you're going to use it. Yeah, and it's all applied. Yep. And then we have our environmental science. So that'll get in. To, I mean, just as the name describes, mm -hmm. environmental science, so all your, your biology, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and then we do our physical sciences, which might be more of like our physics and mm -hmm. things like that. Lots um, of physics and firearms. A <laughs> lot of physics, yeah. Actually, in a lot of the courses that we teach and uh, in the course revamps, mm -hmm. I mean, you have your, your uh, Newton's three laws of motion, which are huge in mm -hmm. the firearms world. So understanding mm -hmm. how a firearm functions. Yep. Um, so yeah, English composition. If you're going to own a business, you're going to need to know how mm -hmm. to write, how to read, how mm -hmm. to express yourself in words, right? So you're going to, English is very, very important. Yeah, I encounter a lot of people that I'm potentially going to employ that don't have these skills. It's very obvious if someone writes you and they don't even capitalize their first and last name, you know, yeah. uh, or, or write you like they're texting you, you know, you are interested, question mark. And, you know, I can't underscore enough how important this is. The more articulate you are, the more of an advantage you'll have, mm -hmm. period. You got to be articulate to be able to manage people, to be able to communicate with customers, all yeah. that. Yeah, yep. definitely. Yep. And then psychology, introduction to psychology. So, I, I see this as a, as a really important one. We're, we're in a world where understanding psychology, especially in the firearms world, mm -hmm. without going into nitty gritty details, okay. it's very, very important. Sure. To understand, to have that discerning mindset as a mm -hmm. business owner is really, really important. Being able to read people. Read people. Yeah, yep. absolutely. Yep. You don't <laughs> want to be on the front cover of that, of that news of saying, oh, this is the gunsmith that worked on that person's gun. Right. Yep. So you need to know what's anyway. So, <laughs> and then we have our business 101 introduction to business, and that's very, very important. We've already discussed having a mindset. A lot of people will have um, that the love, the passion of the mm -hmm. firearms world or firearms industry, but they don't understand business. Yeah. And that's a, it, it can be a hard, a hard, pill to swallow when you you go into it business is booming but you don't know how to handle your finances or your your uh you know disposition your your mm -hmm. disposition books or you know any of that stuff yeah. as far as it <laughs> and regulation in the firearms industry is a big deal oh yeah so yeah. understanding that business side of things is important yeah you could be the best gunsmith in the world and if you don't have business savvy as as an entrepreneur you're likely to fail. Mm -hmm. It's it's almost like you have to have equal strengths in you know the business world, the interpersonal world, and then those technical proficiencies, reputation, knowledge, and know-how. You know, all mm -hmm. really important stuff. Yep. Okay, so that was a lot to get my mind around. I will say one thing: <laughs> almost all of those courses are interesting to me, and I'm definitely interested in diving up into some of this material. Mm -hmm. 
you know, this is, this is exciting stuff. If you're into gunsmithing or if you're into firearms technology, this is stuff that you're, you know, going to want to check out. So thank yeah. you for guiding us through and no giving problem. us a nice guided tour. Okay, so if you're interested, go to admissions, admissions at sdi.edu. Talk to those folks. You can do the live chat and all that. Go to sdi.edu and peruse the different programs and course offerings. That's going to be where you're going to get the latest and most up-to-date information about current courses, descriptions, and so on and so forth. And finally, if you're most comfortable talking to someone in person, you can call the number at 480-999-4767. Here's what we'd like to know from you is, what do you think of the courses? Are you interested in becoming a gunsmith? Are you interested in getting a certificate? Drop a comment, tell us what you're doing, what you're interested in, and what you would study at sdi.edu. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make your voice heard. If you have something to say, please drop a comment. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're not gonna wanna miss the awesome content that is coming up. And finally, flex your reloading pride. You could look great in one of these t-shirts. We've got multiple designs at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'll see you later because I'm off to go shooting.